Hi guys, welcome back to Foretech Online TV. My name is Vatavile and I am with the CEO here, Mr. Kwabena. And it's the time with the CEO. So please grab your pens and your notebooks so that you can just take down the notes. Because you know when it's the time with the CEO, it's time for you guys to learn something new from the CEO. So please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and comment and also please don't forget our sister TV, that is Bone Shaker TV. And also, please take note that we are probably sponsored by Foritech IT Solutions. Say, so, please say hi to our viewers at home. Hi, I know you've missed my face. Um, I think I could, I could hear some reflections of my mic. Uh, producer, please be careful. You know that when the CEO is on, it's on the station, everything must be speakers. Perfect, fun. yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry about what's going on with you guys, my absent from the TV screen for uh, a very long time with the investment. The reason is that we're doing, um, you know, um, I'm the CEO of Foritech Online Television. So there's a lot of projects on my hands that I'm doing, but I've not left you guys ajar. I'm still there going to preach to you about investment. So I say hi. And then I said, um, what we're about to do um, is partly sponsored by my company, my sister company, Foritech IT Solution, mm -hmm. where we produce with the best quality graphic designing. We are number one in the market of all designs of your choice. Yeah, we have uh, UV printing, offset printing, offshore printing. We have in-depth graphic design lessons. So you contact us, our numbers are below the screen. And then you contact us for you to give you the best designs. Um, okay. Should I call you baby? Because <laughs> she's one of my new employees and I'm very proud of her because she's picked up so well. And Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm highly annihilated to have you. So you company. know, when, when you're with me, ne, we don't use big words. So please use simple English. Thank you. Please okay. Use simple English. So I just want to welcome you back to your company yeah because he's been not ages, showing right? up yes he's been not showing up for ages so i just want to say welcome back sir we missed you and i'm sure even the viewers at home they missed watching you on our screens so um i've got just a few questions i hope you guys like, like i've said i hope you guys have your notebooks ready so that you can just grab one or two information I know it's gonna be so helpful for people like me who know nothing about business or opening up a business and for somebody else who wants to open up a business so please just sit there get your pen ready and your paper ready so um sir mm -hmm. um i just want to know like what makes you a great leader um i've worked with you for few months now and i have seen like your leadership skills so i just want to know like what makes you a great leader and what is it that you can tell the other people out there or how they can be great leaders also thank you um my my host um Batabili. before i speak authoritatively i'll say um, every views and opinion that are coming from we, the host and the panelist, is strictly adhered to us, not from my company, Free Tech Online Television. So, everything, every Tom, Dick, and Harry who want to hold us responsible must come to us personally, yeah. but not my station. Now, in terms of being a great leader, depends on your or having your quality skills. It depends on how you you are determined to mm -hmm. make everything that you create works. Now, when in the broader spectrum, when I'm going to define great leaders, it depends on your mindset and how you were trained from your mentor. Mm -hmm. Now, this question is, it's so broad that somebody asked me this question some time back when I was going to the UK in, I was in a plane sitting next to a lady and the lady was reading a, reading a book title great minds great minds now halfway the journey to united kingdom 
the lady started to um, engage me in a conversation and I asked her, why would you fancy about reading great minds? Mm -hmm. He said, the book propel her, when we say propel, encourage, encourage her to succeed in life. So now, I, in this case, the book is serving like a mentor. Mm -hmm. So for you to be a great leader, remember, you were not born a leader. A leader, yeah. True. But you have got leadership skills. So for you to become a great leader, you need to look up to someone. Mm -hmm. So first aspect of being a great leader is to master the artistry of your mentor. The person that you look up to, that will determine who you are. If I wake up in the morning and I want, I look up to um, our beloved president, Sir Ramaphosa, automatically I'll be in the line of becoming a president mm -hmm. or a leader in the firm. So whoever you look up to must be a positive in your uh, genealogy of your behavior and your acts. So automatically it's like there's a popular saying by a famous physician who says, a crab does not give birth to a bird. When you're a crab, you give birth to what? Crabs. Mm -hmm. When you're a bird, you give birth to what? Birds. Yeah. So automatically, whoever you look up to, that's how you're going to draw your leadership skills from. Mm -hmm. Whether you've been authoritative, leader, democratic, autocratic, and stuff like that, those are the forms of leadership. As time goes on, I'll explain to you guys. So I draw my inspiration from the people that I look up to. And the funny part, I don't have one person I look up to. Okay. I picked up all the leadership skills in various people, and I pick up the positives. So automatically, wherever I am, I become a great leader. Now, let me tell you a secret. Sometimes, my PA ask me, how do I do it? When there's an issue at the workplace, and they expect me to act, but I don't act. Mm -hmm. I use a diverse ways of solving an issue. Those are some of the leadership skills. That from the person that I imitated my leadership skills from, that is how he operates. Hmm. That's actually a good one. Yeah. That's actually a good one. I just want to say thank you to your mentor. I think, yeah, he has done, if it's a he, he has done a good job. He's a he. Yeah. <laughs> he's a he has done a good job. But there are some of my leaders, uh, leadership skills, I, I drew inspiration from some ladies, how they did their... Yeah, components. he has done, or whoever that is part of your mentorship, yeah, they have done a good and a great job. So, yeah, and I believe that as a human being, you, 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 you grow by learning every day. You grow by learning. You know, if you are a person and then you say, no, um, now I know everything. I think you are so stupid if you are a person and you, you refer yourself as someone who says, um, I know everything. As a human being, you learn by growing. Each and every day, you learn something new. Each and every day, you learn something different. So, yeah, this is actually my learning point. Yeah. So, um, say another question is, um, what makes you unique? Or should I say, what makes your business unique? Yeah. What makes your business unique? What makes you unique from other businessmen? What is your strategy? Perfect. Um, before I land, this one, I want every viewer and listener to pay attention to this. In one of my episodes, because we are in episode eight, in episode six, if I'm not mistaken, um, I spoke about the five principles of becoming successful, where one of the principles says, in order for, oh no, I said, the five principles of becoming successful, mm -hmm. where the Italian and the Russian mafias ex 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 exaggerate to people for us to learn. I said, in order for you to become successful, you need a mentor. And if you look at it, it goes in line with your leadership skills. Mm -hmm. Now, with my uniqueness in my leadership skills is this. One, I drew inspiration from a lot of mentors. One of one of my proud mentors that I picked up that makes me unique is that I have time and patience for every business. Now, I'll give you an example. With my studio and my TV channel, I'm not getting any money, but I'm investing. Now, people don't understand that 
well, in every business, for you to become successful, it takes time. Yeah, it takes time. Now, somebody will ask, how would you pay your workers? Now, before you draw up a proposal to do a business, you must have a plan. A plan. In that plan, there must be some funds which will be given to people as stipend for the business to grow. Remember, you can't grow your business. So now in my leadership skills, what makes me unique is that I have grown up to become successful in a way that my success story comes from patience and understanding of a business. So even if it will take me one or two years to yield my profit, mm -hmm. I go with the flow. Even if I lose all my money in the bank, so far as the business is going, and people who are working for me are satisfied with my way, modulus operandi, how I operate, perfect. So when you compare my business strategy to other people, I'm unique. I'm fantastic. I'm superlicious. I'm everything that a, you, you want in a leader. I'm, I'm patient. I don't get carried away. I don't get frightened about losing anything. I always become positive. There are, there are times you become, you, you, you force your, you, your spirit to be down in business, but don't, don't give up. Once you become patient and work towards your goal and your aim, you make it. So that makes my own unique. Hi, in your time, I would see Nella Pope, Balanda Limaka, and I use a lantern. Should you be clean so good? In English, we say you reap what you sow. So with patience and understanding. understanding, you will definitely succeed in life. So mm, this is so deep. Yeah, <laughs> this is so deep. This is so deep. So say, um, how do you deal with um, fear and doubt? You know, I'm sorry to let you guys know that. When you reach a certain stage in life, these kind of businesses, you reap sickness, high blood pressure and all these things. Now, dealing with fear and doubt is to always calm my nerves down. Now, in other people say, I'll go and do exercise. Yeah, that's those are some of the prerequisites of dealing with stressful and doubtedness in business. Mm -hmm. But with me, I'm not an exercise person. I'm, I'm, I'm yet being ushered by my um, personal trainer and the girl who works for me, and my host, Batabili, who is a, a fit, fitness trainer. You can watch it uh, tomorrow. There will be, um, yeah, be a show. What I do is that <clears> I turn <throat> my nerves down. I speak to my spirit and my soul. Mm -hmm. I tell myself, God, you know you gave me direction. And now I'm having a downsize of my business. Now, if you give yourself 24 to 72 hours, your nerves will come down mm -hmm. to come up with a plan. In business, the leader or the CEO must be smart. So first and foremost, your thinking ability and capability must be on point so that to deal with every challenges that comes on the way. So the moment the challenges come and you panic, what about the workers? So I calm, I calm my nerves down, look for solutions within 72 hours, and boom, and it works for me. Hmm. Yeah. I believe that God doesn't give you... Um, so whatever that uh, my, my CEO is saying is true, and I, I really believe in it. I really believe in it. So, um, say the last question because I don't want to be too em emotional because of what you've just said now. Um, the last question What is the hardest, hardest part of being a businessman? <laughs> the hardest part of being a businessman is one making an informed decision for business to grow. Because in business, when you set up a business, especially an entity like my own, there's so many dynamics because of the human beings that are in that comes with their different dynamics. Mm -hmm. So that's the hardest part. You come up with all this high blood pressure and stuff. That's the hardest part. But like I said in my 
penultimate statement that I make before now mm -hmm. is you need to act like a good leader with quality skills. Now, a good leader in a company, you don't have to become authoritative. When we say authoritative, you don't have to say what I say is final. Like what I said, I've got a post that they say the boss is always right. Mm -hmm. People one day must ask why boss you say that. Now, being an authoritative leader means in your company, your ideas goes. No one gives you ideas. But if you want to become a good leader, you might be democratic. Where sometimes you allow people to air their views. You know? So sometimes um, dealing with people is the most difficult part because they are coming with different, different dynamics from home and other things. So at the end of the day, what do you do? You make sure that you now exhibit the true truthfulness and the true colors of your dynamical emotional capabilities. Mm -hmm. That is where makes you what? A good leader. So now in terms of the workplace, that's where you have to show your skills. That, oh, okay, this is what I'm having. Um, mom, 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 mom is like this. Batabili is like this. Uh, Sipo is like that. Mm -hmm. What do I do? You blend, we call it merger. You blend their characters and then you give them something called company character. Now, what is a company character? This is my secret of making successful. They adopt the company character in such a way that my company has got one character. Work first, the rest is... Oh, the work culture. Yes. Okay. Work first, the, re the, re the rest is history. So whatever problem that you have, leave it at the door of the company. Work in happiness. <coughs> then when you get back outside, you put on your what? Your anger. Yeah. So that is what I've cultivated in my workers. And we are doing fine. Hmm. Guys, so yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. So, and another thing, great minds think alike. Just because of your boss doesn't mean that you shouldn't take one or two opinions of junior staffs. Whatever that I'm going to tell you as your boss, uh, it might help you in any other way. So guys and to the businessmen out there, the opinions of your junior staffs matter also. It's not only your opinion. So guys, this is the end of our show. If you guys have watched up until this point and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also comment, like, share your views, send us your questions that we we will ask our CEO here and then he's going to answer you because you know what? The boss is always right and whatever that he says is definitely the right thing to say because he's the boss and he's always right. So guys, it's chairs and peace from me and the CEO, Mr. Kwabena. Bye. Bye. Subscribe <laughs> and then like and comment and click.